Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending April 20th, 2018. And uh, I always like to start the news with a new anime announcement, and this week we actually have one. Yay! Studio Dean has confirmed their next anime series, Agu Tensai Ningyo, or Agu Genius Dolls. It will adapt a Chinese comic that was published on the Chinese site Tencent Comic, part of the huge Tencent website service thing. The comics is fairly popular, seeing as how it currently has over 9.5 billion views after launching only four years ago. So, yep, we'll see where that goes and what we actually get out of that. Wow. Meanwhile, Amora Hosoda's next film, which is A Mirai of the Future, or Mirai no Mirai, will have its worldwide premiere at a spin-off of the Cannes Film Festival, kind of. Uh, the director's Fortnite is meant to elevate the visibility of lesser-known works, and, for example, hosted a screening of The Tale of Princess Kaguya in 2014. The film actually opens in Japan July 20th, and this is the new poster for it. That's pretty darn, pretty darn cool. Uh, also coming, more new Gundam. The next Gundam work has been announced, Mobile Suit Gundam Narrative, that's the title, or Gundam NT, you heard that right, it's set in Universal Century 0097, right after Gundam Unicorn, and is part of a new project within Sunrise to continue the Universal Century timeline. There were also accidental reveals of a film trilogy for Hathaway's Flash and a sequel to Gundam Unicorn, but I haven't seen any official confirmation on those yet. It was part of a slide. There was some confusion over that last bit, as it was described as having an overseas drama format. Folks thought that that meant a live-action adaptation, but a Sunrise official clarified that the phrase meant an anime drama created with the same behind-the-scenes structure, similar to that used in Western TV. Well, here's something that we, that we see it, whatever it is. Uh, whether that is a real thing or not, hopefully, hopefully it will be. Who knows? Meanwhile... Anime is coming to Brazil. Crunchyroll will launch a one-hour anime block on Brazilian television starting tomorrow, actually, April 21st, as of when I'm recording this. It will run subtitled episodes of ReZero and Black Clover starting at 8 p.m. on Saturdays and then again for, uh, starting at, from 11 a.m. to noon on Sundays as, as a repeat. The block will also include an eight-minute live action segment with two Crunchyroll community managers in Brazilian Portuguese. So, more anime in Brazil. Cool. Speaking of anime on television, My Hero Academia is coming to Toonami. All three seasons are slated to air on the programming block starting May 5th, so a couple weeks from now, at 11.30 p.m., sandwiched between Dragon Ball Z Kai and Furry Curry. So, feels like a lead into Furry Curry, maybe? Who, who knows? Trying to get some more attention on that. Um, not a bad thing. Finally, a bit of an update to a previous news story. Last week, the, Jap the Japanese government asked ISPs in Japan to block access to various pirate websites, among them naming three particular pirated manga websites that are really big. This past Tuesday, one of those sites, Mangamura, went offline. But wait, before anyone worries too much about censorship, it looks like the site was shut down voluntarily. Both its main site and its image server were shut down in a way that seemed to only be achievable by the site's actual owners and administrators, not the ISP. Uh, NHK, the Japanese uh, TV channel, claims the site is administered by at least one person from America. Is it you? 